What's up, guys? Tim Halstead here with Drag Boss Garage. You want to know what's inside a 1,000 horsepower Cleveland? Well, you're going to find out. Thanks, Adam, from ACM Engines and Dyno. The foundation for this 1,000 horsepower Cleveland is an aero block. Looks pretty stout. I'd love to know how it compares to Tim Meyer's Track Boss. You can see it's got bronze lifter bores. That's a 4190 bore. I don't know how much is left over after that. But you can see there's 55 millimeter cam bearings. All the machine work and balancing was done by Kim Baker. That's a Cali's Magnum four inch stroke crank. GRP billet aluminum rods with JE pistons 14 to one. Custom 55 millimeter roller by bullet, 276 and 288 at 900 lift. Jessel 904 lifters. Titanium valves. Man, that looks stout. You can see he's got the degree wheel on there. Nice touch, Adam. ACM. They look like billet main caps. Now, he runs an external single-stage Peterson, but with a wet sump. Not sure whose pump that is, or excuse me, pan that is, but it's nice. Now, there's the crown jewel, Scott Cook's race heads. I remember them when they came out, Scott. you got to give a big shout-out to Tony O'Connor at TOCA Performance. He did a lot of work on these. They flow like gangbusters. There it is, setting up piston to valve clearance. Getting the heads ready. He runs pack springs. Now the intake on the right is a CID with a Ray Edwards 2300 throttle blades. I'm not sure who's on the left, that intake, but Adam said the best intake for the numbers he needed was that right there. And there's Tony O'Connor in there working his magic. Now, if you look closely, you can see an Australian muscle parts timing belt. Not many timing belt systems made for a Cleveland. That just looks majestic. Looks like she's mocked up there. Yeah, there's a good picture of the timing belt, the Jessel 904 lifters, those 14 to 1 JE pistons, gas ported. Definitely a stout piece. Crank trigger by MSD. Very nice. There's a picture of the front engine plate with the external Peterson pump. She's ready for the dyno. 1,007 horsepower, 8,300. And this combination runs on ETS XPD 105 octane race gas. Custom headers by PST Performance in Queensland. Three steps, two inch to two and eighth to two and a quarter. Yeah, that's cool. And that looks like the motor plate. They sized it to fit little burnishing there. Love that look. I'm not sure the transmission in, in this ute. Pretty small converter there. That looks like maybe 8 inch. So you know that thing's going to flash 6 grand or higher. Look at this thing. Beautiful. 1970 Ford Falcon ute who runs in DMS slash 8 super stock with a 9200 RPM class limit. Thanks Adam Cope for hooking up Drag Boss Garage with this exclusive on the 1,000 horsepower Cleveland. Big shout out to Tony O'Connor, Kim Baker. Can't wait to see more on that Pro Charge 432 Cleveland. Stay tuned.